Hello listeners, my name is Sudha, you can call me Sue. Welcome to my channel, Read to me Sue. We were reading the book Ikigai. And we were in chapter 5 and we were reading about the masters of longevity. And it was talking about how long people lived. And till now we have read about John Kalman, Walter Bruning, Maria Capovella, Misao Okawa. And these are the people who have lived more than 100 years. We'll continue to read the chapter 5. And now we start with Alexandra Image, who has survived for, on this earth for 111 years. I mean, this is interesting to know that how people survive so, lie, so long with very simple habits. I mean, they have found their Ikigai. It is for us to find our Ikigai. What is Ikigai? Ikigai is our passion, the love to do something that makes us to live longer. Before we start, I would again request you, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. It will motivate me to keep reading to a larger audience who love to listen. That's my motto. I want to reach out to many people who love to listen to books. I am not here to tell you to read. I am here to read with you. So please subscribe to my channel and please encourage me to take it forward. Thank you. So we'll continue to read the book Ikigai chapter 5 and we start with Alexander Image. Alexander Image says, I just haven't died yet. Born in Poland in 1903, Alexandra Image was a chemist and parapsychologist residing in the United States who, after the death of his predecessor in 2014, became the oldest man of authenticated age in the world. Image himself died shortly thereafter in June of that year, leaving behind a long life rich with experiences. Image attributed his longevity to, among other things, never drinking alcohol. It's not as though I would win, I would won the, I had won the Nobel Prize. He said, upon being declared the world's oldest man, I never thought I would get to be so old. When asked about his secret to living so long, his answer was, I don't know, I just haven't died yet. Ikigai Artists the secret to long life, however, is not held by supercentenarians alone. There are many people of advanced age who, though they haven't made it into Guinness World Records, offer us inspiration and ideas for bringing energy and meaning to our lives. Artists, for example, who carry the torch of their ikigai instead of retiring have this power. Art in all its forms is an ikigai that can bring happiness and purpose to our days. Enjoying or creating beauty is free and something all human beings have access to. Hokusai, the Japanese artist who made wood block prints in the ukiyo -e style, ukiyo -e style and lived for 88 years from the mid 18th to the mid 19th century, added this postscript to the first edition of his 100 views of Mount Fuji. All that I have produced before the age of 70 is not worth being counted. It is at the age of 73 that I have somewhat begun to understand the structure of true nature of animals and grasses and trees and birds and fishes and insects. Consequently, at 80 years of age, I shall have made still more progress. At 90, I hope to have penetrated into the mystery of things. At 100 years of age, I should have reached decidedly a marvelous degree. And when I shall be 110, all that I could do, every point and every line shall be instinct with life. In the pages that follow, we have collected some of the most inspirational words from artists interviewed by Camille Sweeney from the New York Times. What of those still living, none have retired and st all still enjoy their passion, which they plan to pursue until their final breath demonstrating that when you have a clear purpose, no one can stop you. The actor Christopher Plummer, still working at 86, reveals a dark desire shared by many who love the profession. We want to drop dead on stage. That would be a nice theatrical, theatrical, sorry. That would be a nice theatrical way to go. Osamu Tezuka, the father of modern Japanese manga, shared this feeling. 
before he died in 1989 his last words as he drew one final cartoon were please just let me work the 86 year old filmmaker frederick wiseman declared on a stroll through paris that he likes to work which is why he does it with such intensity everybody complains about their aches and pains and all that but my friends are either dead or are still working he said carmen herrera a painter who just entered her 100th year sold her first canvas at age 89 imagine at the age of 89 carmen herrera a painter sold her first canvas today her work is in the permanent collections of the tate modern and the museum of modern art when asked how she viewed her future she responded i am always waiting to finish the next thing absurd i know i go day by day never stop learning you may grow old and trembling in your anatomies you may lie awake at night listening to the disorder of your veins you may miss your only love You may see the world about you devastated by evil lunatics or know you on a trampled in the sewers of baser minds there is only one thing for it then to learn learn why the world wags and what walks it that is the only thing which the mind can never exhaust never alienate never be tortured by never fear or distrust and never dream of regretting <laughs> T.H. White, The Once and Future King For his part, naturalist and author Edward O. Wilson asserted, I feel I have enough experience to join those who are addressed big questions. About 10 years ago when I began reading and thinking more broadly about the questions of what we are, where did we come from and where are we going, I was, only, I was astonished at how little this was being done. Ellsworth Kelly, an artist who passed away in 2015 at the age of 92, assured us that the idea that we lose that we lose our faculties with age is in part a myth because instead we develop a greater clarity and capacity for observation. It's one thing about getting older, you see more. Every day I'm continuing to see new things. That's why there are new paintings. At 86, the architect Frank Gehry reminds us that some buildings can take 7 years from the time you were hired until you are finished a fact that favors the patient attitude with regard to the passage of time the man responsible for the gungenheim museum bilbao however knows how to live in the here and now you stay in your time you don't go backward I think if you relate to the time you are in you keep your eyes and ears open read the paper see what's going on stay curious about everything you will automatically be in your time longevity in japan because of its robust civil registry many of those verified as having lived the longest are found in the united states however there are many centenarians living in remote villages in other countries a peaceful life in the countryside seems pretty common among people who have watched a century pass without question the international superstar of longevity is japan which has the highest life expectancy of any country in the world in addition to a healthy diet which we will explore in detail and an integrated healthcare system in which people go to the doctor for regular checkups to prevent disease longevity in japan is closely tied to its culture as we will see later on the sense of community and the fact that japanese people make an effort to stay active until the very end are key elements of their secret to long life if you want to stay busy when there's no need to work there has to be an ikigai on your horizon a purpose that guides you throughout your life and pushes you to make things of beauty and utility for the community and yourself and that's the end of chapter 5 we will read chapter 6 very shortly it's called lessons from japan centenarians tradition and proverbs for happiness and longevity please do subscribe to my channel i would love to continue reading to you guys thank you so much